Not sure which gate they're talking about, but uh, anyway, they're having a look to see if there's any problems. So two Frenchmen now. Asbjorn Fischer qualified into the final, and here's our third French, Mune de Bleaky, coming down. Yeah, and he's the guy who, well, we've seen him at a junior level uh, and an yeah, under twenty. And a senior level last year. He yes. Showed up and performed consistently last year as well. Yeah, under twenty three world champion from last year. He's a European junior champion from twenty twenty one and twenty twenty. Really fantastic boat control. You see how he caught that wave and just rocketed into the upstream. So. So Mark Crosby from Australia is the guy that, you know, I think they've got the split times, oh, that was a bit confusing. No, I think it was right, it just, he caught a touch just on the split, yes. so they added it. Okay, the two seconds on. So, Mark Crosby from Australia is waiting patiently with a time of 96. Oh, oh. Did with a touch there, I think mm, that'll Mark. be tricky. He yes. still has some time to play with in, oh, five seconds. It'll be really interesting to see if the 5.02 or the 5.38 is the boat that goes into this, into this final today. Yeah, so Mark Crosby, he needs to go under the 5.38 split difference to get in. And, ooh, it's going to be so tight. No, that can't be right. In fact, no, I think it is right. Uh, he's going to struggle yeah. now. So Mark Crosby could be joining his teammate Tristan Carter in the final later on this afternoon. Yeah, I think Muin won't be joining the other two French, nope. unfortunately, nope. finishing He's in provisional 10th place. 10th spot, so that is, oh, and he has a little swim at the end.